Brown. Please go ahead. I saw the command. The umbilical tower now moving away from the Soyuz. The flight engines uh, for the first stage will come up to flight speed momentarily. The second umbilical tower will be dropping back from the Soyuz in just a matter of seconds. Ignition. There it goes. We're standing by for main engine start. We've got main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one, and ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of the Soyuz rocket. Shannon Walker, Fyodor Yurchikin, and Doug Wheelock begin their journey on the 100th launch on behalf of the International Space Station. out over the Kazakhstan skies, the Soyuz vehicle, good pitch program according to the flight controllers. Good first stage performance, the Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. Ten seconds, 60 seconds, yes. One minute into the flight. The Soyuz now traveling 1,100 miles per hour. Rating, pressure 798. Uh, can you assess G-load? About two to two and a half units. And Fyodor Yurchikin reporting about two Gs as uh, the vehicle approaches the period of maximum dynamic pressure. No, they have stronger vibration at the ascent. We're standing by for the uh, shutdown and jettison of the four strap-on boosters. And now we have first stage separation. The boosters dropping away at an altitude of 30 statute miles. The Soyuz traveling 3,950 miles an hour, 73 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. 140. Normal parameters are being reported for all of the Soyuz systems. On board, everything is nominal. We're in great spirits. A good view uh, inside uh, the descent module. Shannon Walker, the board engineer, heading towards space. Fyodor Yurchikin, the Soyuz commander, at the bottom of your screen. Descent. Two and a half minutes into the flight, standing by for escape tower and launch shroud jettison. The Soyuz now 52 miles in altitude, 102 miles downrange, traveling 4,500 miles an hour. Camera two. How's the picture? The image is very good. And the view of Doug Wheelock, flight engineer number two, seated to the right of Fyodor Yurchikin. Because our windows are still closed. Soyuz sailing on toward orbit. All systems reported in excellent shape. The Soyuz core stage, or second stage, performing as advertised. This stage is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, providing 96 tons of thrust. 230. Copy, 230. Now just beyond the four-minute mark into the flight, all of the Soyuz systems performing normally. 
270 seconds, control system parameters are nominal. Okay, thank you. And we can see it on the display. Inaudible. If you're just a few seconds away from uh, st second stage separation. And now uh, the visiting vehicle officer confirms second stage sep. The core booster has burned out and separated in an altitude of 104 miles. The Soyuz 179 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome traveling 8,700 miles an hour. The Soyuz now being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz third stage. This engine providing 30 tons of thrust. It will burn for just over four minutes. Copy and we feel great. In the cloudless skies over the Central Asian desert, the Soyuz vehicle streaking toward orbit still visible. And this view inside the International Space Station, Tracy Caldwell Dyson on the right, Mikhail Kornienko and Alexander Skvortsov watching uh, the launch of the Soyuz vehicle and the transport of their three colleagues toward orbit to begin the two-day orbital chase for docking Thursday afternoon. Six and a half minutes into the flight, seconds, the uh, Soyuz now traveling at about 12,000 miles an hour. Not quite two minutes left in powered flight for the TMA-19. Once the uh, third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for orbital operations. Those uh, commands, called time tag commands, allow many of the Soyuz systems to be automatically activated by the onboard computers at precise times. Now seven and a half minutes into the flight, everything proceeding normally. 450 seconds. Nominal flight. Copy for 150 seconds. Nominal flight. 470 seconds. Stage three engines are nominal. Thank you very much. Everything's fine on board. We feel very good. Okay. Fyodor Yurchikin reporting back to flight controllers that everything is proceeding by the book. Less than a minute of powered flight remaining. 490 seconds. The article is stable. 500 seconds. Nominal flight. Five hundred ten seconds. Pitch your roll nominal. Copy. Standing by for third stage cutoff and separation. Okay, guys. All the best to you guys. That's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anatoly Nikolaevich. And now we have confirmation of third stage cutoff and spacecraft separation. Hey, I know. I knew you are a finicky guy. I knew you'll do that and tell me that. Okay, but thank you anyway. Thank you very much, and you guys did great. Thank you. Olympus Mission Control Moscow, how copy?
This is 16-3. Big smiles on the faces of the uh, crew in the Soyuz TMA-19. The Soyuz in its preliminary orbit at an altitude of 148 by 121 statute miles. Thank you, Fedor Nikolaevich. Thank you. All and we now have confirmation of the deployment of the solar arrays and the navigational antennas. Control of the spacecraft now overseen from the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolev outside Moscow. A perfect ascent to orbit for the newest uh, trio of residents headed for the International Space Station. And on the pressurization activation 